Hello and happy Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. It is Sunday night. I just got back to South Carolina. I was in Ohio for my Thanksgiving break and there is a place in Ohio where a TJ Maxx, a Michaels, a Marshalls, and a Home Goods are all in one building. You don't even have to walk outside to enter into the other one. It's amazing. Um, I took some clips while I was shopping, so I'm gonna put those in here, but I have to sit down and do a haul. I got so much good Christmas stuff. I've been getting kind of a bunch of Christmas stuff everywhere, Target, Walmart, Michaels, um, but this is all just from a one night shopping trip in that like four store building and I had the time of my life. So I am going to open everything up, show you guys what I got because I feel like I found amazing stuff for really good deals. And then I'm gonna put up a separate video, just like vlog style of me decorating everything. As you can see, our tree is already up. This is from Michaels and it's amazing if you live in an apartment or somewhere where you just want a slim tree. I absolutely love it, um, but let's go ahead and get into shopping and then everything that I got. Hello, it is Saturday night. Sorry for the bad lighting. I'm in my car and it's only, it's not even six o'clock yet, but it's already pitch black outside and I'm at the motherland. <laughs> I dropped Hayden off at a bar here to meet up with some of his friends and I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. I still have to get garland. Um, I want to get some towels for the kitchen. I want to get a Christmas mug if I can find a cute one some wrapping paper if they still have it on sale like there's just some little things that I want to get um still for the apartment and stuff so I thought I would come here because I feel like if I can't find it at one of these four stores there's then it's not there so um I'm gonna look there I wish I could do more shopping because there's a good mall right by where I am right now but I don't really know what else I'm getting people for Christmas yet so I don't really know if there's much Christmas shopping I can do other than like this kind of stuff so I just want to make sure Hayden has enough time to hang with his friends because I'm also going to take him home. So I'm just going to take my time in there, putts for a while, and I am going to bring this with me so that we can see what we can find. that I was put together enough to make my own Christmas cards and stamp them. These are so cute. I love this blanket and I think it's 60% off, but it's so small. 50 by 60, I don't think I can do that. Very soft though. Okay, time to look for a garland. I definitely want something a little more plain because I don't want to get sick of it. And I want it to be very full. I do not want it to be like gimpy looking. So I might need to buy a couple, but I'm just going to see what they have. I'm thinking this could be a good deal. I like how it has different types of little spikes. And it's pre-lit. I also like that it's nine foot and I actually like the pine cones. I feel like it adds a little something. I'm just hoping that it's like thick enough once it's all unraveled. I guess you can kind of like beef it up. Honestly, this looks more full than the ones I was seeing in the aisles. They looked so thin. Getting the ribbon to put on my gifts is one of my favorite parts, but I already have some ribbon, so I don't know if I want to get any yet. Cause I want to see what I have still left from last year, but they always have so many options. I literally love picking out ribbons. I just like picked all these out and I'm having a hard time leaving this one here. I love when they have like a lot of texture. I feel like it just adds something. And this one's literally just like a full on sweater. Like I, I would feel wasteful even buying it. I always feel wasteful even buying the ribbon but it just adds so much to a gift. I love this too, the red velvet, so classic. I kind of like this tree skirt better than the one we have and it's the right size. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it for this year, but I guess good to know for the future. I really love the houndstooth. Okay, now I'm wondering if I should do this one instead because it's $22.99, but 50% off, so. 
less than $12. It'd be like 11 bucks basically. Um, and then I could get two of them. And they're six foot a piece. I just don't know if I like how they're all this type of bristle. These are like my least favorite types of bristles. But I just realized that this one is pre-lit. This one is not. So I guess it depends how much do I want it to be lit up. This one actually does have different bristles. And I kind of like that has a little bit of the snow or like the frosted, but it's not like a ton. The other one has none. This one might go better with our tree. Okay, I decided on the lit garland because I just feel like the lights really make everything better. I love this guy and he's $8. I'm getting him, but I can't decide between these plates. And I definitely do not need two types of Christmas plates. I love these. Or do I want the Christmas trees? I'm kind of weird about like sets of things. I don't like to have like one odd thing. So I would get two if I got some. I also love these, but there's no need for big plates. I just feel like we don't need those. But also I'm like, do I just get one of each? Cause that would look cute sitting out. I'm taking the first load of stuff to the car so that I don't have to carry it while I continue to shop. like this but I don't like how it's like geometric on the top I just like the stripes and I actually really like these but I don't really have books to put these are pretty I wonder how much this is 30 bucks I have cool stuff this is fun um this is such a good find except it's not that much discounted it's usually 75 and it's 60, so it's 15 bucks off. I just don't think I'm in a position to spend 60 bucks on that, but that is a good find. This home goods is so stocked. Every shelf is like filled to the brim. I actually really like this, but I kind of wish this was like a different color. Or does that make it better because then it's just neutral? This will look really cute on like a bed or a couch. I like the Pottery Barn pillows that like say words on them because they're not like cheesy i don't know i'll hold this we'll hold on to this i don't necessarily need a blanket right now but this reminds me of like a cozy cabin i really like this 25 bucks that's actually not bad at all so many blankets oh my gosh this one looks so soft yeah i really did want to find some christmas sheets but i don't think any of these these are so cute they're little bees but that's not christmas <laughs> Um, I don't think any of these ones are doing it for me, but if I do find Christmas sheets, I would love to. Some nice cozy ones. These. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These are for sure, yes, but these are $40. Oof. I mean, honestly, that's like how much sheets are, so I'm not too mad about it. So that is a must-have. Oh my gosh. They're so soft. I love the green. I'm definitely in like a green Christmas phase. Like I just want everything to be green. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are too cute. I cannot leave these here. This would be a cool gift for a guy who like lives on their own to just like kind of dress up their coffee table. This book is also very cool. I wonder how much it is. 17 bucks, that's actually not bad. And I don't know who I was kidding. I definitely need a part. <laughs> it's literally huge. Also I have the, um, book games which i'm obsessed with like if i buy games i definitely want them to be the like book versions i think these are so cute how much is this 50 bucks well this would be an amazing housewarming gift i would love to receive that because it's like i don't want to spend 50 dollars on this myself but i would love to have it i'm obsessed with this wreath but i would feel bad having this on our door just because i feel like it's a little too feminine is literally like gift wrap galore here. I could just spend forever in here, but I need to make it to the Christmas towels because those were actually on my list of things that I really wanted to get, so. Okay. These are cute, but this is more of a bathroom towel. I feel like this might look strange in a kitchen, but I do really like them. Maybe they wouldn't look strange. I really like these. I tend to go for more simple stuff. Okay, let's look at all the towels. These are very cute. I like how simple that is. Okay, I'm gonna put both in there for now. 
This is so cute to put soap in, but I don't really use bar soap. But that's adorable. It's very cute. We also actually really need um, things for our guest bathroom. I like this. It just says lotion on it, though. I would want like the whole set if I were going to do that. So I'm going to look at their bathroom stuff. You know, I'm looking at guest bathroom stuff when I'm here for Christmas stuff. I can't help myself. I never get to just like go shop like this. I'm actually planning to get my sister a photograph printed of something that we saw in Italy from this photographer. So I'm thinking I could try to get her a frame here because these are pretty affordable. I also just love looking at frames. I don't know why. Okay, I think I'm going to get my sister this frame. I really like how it's black and gold. I think she'll love that. And I think this is a good size. Hopefully, okay, yeah, it can be hung horizontally or vertically, so that's perfect because I'm not sure which way I'm going to print the picture yet. I really want a mug, but I'm very disappointed. These options are not, not very good. Let's keep looking. I'm also questioning if I like either of these now. I might put them back. My friend who I got for Secret Santa really likes Moscow Mules, so I'm thinking if I should buy her a set of two. But I don't really know if I like any of these, so this might just be an idea to look for online. Okay, now I'm wondering, do I like this one better than the Santa canister that I got from Michael's? Because that one's just glass, and I like the ribbed glass, rather than the other ones like a full Santa. I feel like the other one looks a little more classic, but this one maybe is a little more me. And then I also found these towels. And I just feel like these might look a little too bathroomy. Like this just looks like a bathroom towel, you know? But I feel like obviously these look like kitchen towels. I feel like kitchen towels are always thin and I don't like it, but I buy them like that anyways because that's just what I'm used to. Like I'm not used to like a thick kitchen towel like this. I mean, these would be really nice in the kitchen because they'd be more absorbent, but... I feel like these look more classic. Also, these probably aren't even meant to be Christmas ones. They're probably just red, but I might do those. Okay, wait, I just remembered. I had towels that were kind of like this, but they looked more like real trees and they were so pretty. I had a set of two of them, I think. And I can't remember if I love them like with my college friends or not. But I don't, I would get this set, but I don't like the blue. I like the green and this one's okay, but the ones that I had were prettier. So I'm like, I hope that I have those because the ones I had were honestly prettier, so I might not get any of these because just on the off chance that I still have these ones that look similar-ish to this, I like those better than all of this. Also, this hen reminds me of my mom because she was absolutely one of the um, <laughs> moms that had like hens and... What are those? Hens? Hens or... Why am I forgetting the name for the male version? Anyways, she had these all over our kitchen, so I literally would get this just because of her, but... I want today. Honestly, she's kind of cute. Do I kind of get the hen thing? This is kind of cute. I love that it's gold. Okay, I feel like sometimes I'm on grandma, but out of all the Christmas towels I've seen, these ones are definitely my favorites. I'm gonna get these, skip all the other ones, and then if I find my old green and Christmas tree ones, then I'll have red and green, so that's what I'm gonna do. This looks exactly like a Laker set. It is not. This one's only $40, and then there's also this cream one. I usually do really simple papers, but I just fell in love with this one. I'm trying to see if these three look good together. I'm not really a polka dot person usually, but I kind of think that all looks cute together. Last stop, just looking for a mug, and then I'm literally getting out of here. <laughs> I love this mug. I wish there was just one of them. Like, I don't need four. That's too much. This one's a lot smaller of a section here. I like these, but these are too small. And then I kind of like these, but these are like huge. This is almost like a soup container. I feel like Mrs. Claus. <laughs> I have so much stuff back there. I'm gonna start with the Marshalls and Home Goods. They were actually combined into one store. So the first thing that I saw were these sheets and I really wanted some Christmas flannel sheets, but I did not see any online that I really liked. Um, and I'm kind of particular about patterns and things. 
but I thought that this white and green sheet set was the cutest thing. Oh my gosh. I think it's so cozy. I love the little scenes that are on there. I love the dark green. I'm definitely more of a green Christmas girl than a red Christmas girl as of now. I know it always changes, but as of now, I really like the green better. And these are from Aspen Home. They're a Turkish flannel queen sheet set. So I'm so excited. We are literally going to put these on the bed tonight and I cannot wait. Also from Marshalls and Home Goods, right after I said I was a green Christmas girl, <laughs> I have a red towel set. Oh, again, I just feel like I'm kind of almost like grandma-like when it comes to prints for Christmas. I just think this looks so classic and I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. I don't feel like it's cheesy or corny. I don't know, I just love this. So it came with two of like the white cream colored and then just two plain kind of like waffle red. That's kind of very vibrant. It's more deep, kind of like this color in person, but I just thought these were like a classic Christmassy cute towel. These are from the farmhouse, Rachel Ashwell. So cute. Okay, next, I was not intending on getting this at all, but once I saw it, I thought it was too cute to leave there. So this is the Silly Cow Farms hot chocolate. And I'm really sad because it actually says that it's chocolate peppermint twist. And I did not notice that in the store. I definitely just thought it was hot chocolate. So we'll see if I like it. I'm not usually a peppermint chocolate girl, but this container was so cute. I was like, I'll just keep refilling this with whatever hot chocolate because I think this is so cute. And I'm hosting some girls for a white elephant gift exchange in a couple weeks. And I thought it'd be cute to have a little hot chocolate bar. Next, again, I did not intend on buying this at all, but once I saw it, I had to have it. It looks exactly like LA Crusette. I think that's how you say it, um, Dutch oven. And we do not have one of these, but every time I cook with one, I love them. They're really good for like soups or stews, anything you would think to put in like a crock pot. They're also really great for searing meats. So these are just like a good kitchen staple, also a very good gift idea. And Marshall's and Home Goods had so many. So if you're looking for a gift for somebody who likes to cook, I highly recommend this. They did have other colors, but I decided the red was just really classic. And I'm kind of surprised by that decision for myself because I'm kind of out of a red phase right now, but I just thought this was so pretty. Next, I saw this cutest little Santa jar. I do not know what I'm gonna put in this yet. I have no idea, maybe cookies, maybe, I would say coffee grounds, but our coffee machine grinds the beans on its own. So I do not know what I'm gonna put in this, but it was so cute. I loved the like ribbed glass. I feel like you could also use this as a vase. I actually think I used to have a vase like this, but then it just has a little Santa topper and I just thought he was so cute. I feel like this is a good way to be like classic Christmas, but also keep kind of like a more modern look with the ribbed glass. I loved this. Next thing is not Christmas at all. And I actually saw it in the checkout line and it was definitely an impulse buy, but I'm very happy with it. I actually had something just like it in my cart, but then I saw this one and liked it better. We just keep our Dawn dish soap out on the counter, obviously to do dishes and stuff. We hated like going under the sink to grab it every time. These are like first world problems, but um, the Dawn container looks ugly on the counter. So <laughs> I thought this was so cute. It just, I feel like this is kind of trendy right now with like the wordy labels. It's called Garrison and Home by Home and Body Co. Los Angeles Dish Soap. This is lemongrass, but once this runs out, I'm just gonna refill it with Dawn. It actually smells so good, but I feel like since it's glass, it's kind of like an amber color. I just, I had to have it. It's gonna look so cute on the sink, way better than the Dawn dish soap does. Last few things from Marshalls and Home Goods. That's definitely where I did the most damage. So that's why I started there. But um, I got some wrapping paper and usually I do like very boring, I don't wanna say boring, but just very simple wrapping, like brown paper bag style. And then I do it up with the ribbons. I love putting ribbons on my gifts. I think it like just elevates them to the next level. So usually I do really simple wrapping like black and white or the brown paper bag style. But this year I saw this paper in Marshalls and I got so inspired that I, decided I was gonna switch everything up and do everything around this paper. So this is from FAO Schwartz. I've never heard of that before, but this is a jumbo roll, so it is very big. I always recommend getting the jumbo roll. Sometimes I've been tricked in the past where I just pick up a roll and get it, and I don't look at how many yards or feet it actually comes with, and they can really jip you. So always make sure to check that you're getting um, a lot of yards, and I prefer the jumbo rolls. 
Um, but I saw this paper and it has little Santas on it, little cartoon Santas in this little peppermint train with peppermint wheels, has little peppermints all over it. And it just looked so like vintage and classic and adorable. Usually I do not go for busy patterns whatsoever, but I don't know what it was about this one. It just looked like classic, cozy, vintage Christmas and I had to have it. So I decided I'm gonna do everything based off of this paper. So I wanted to get two more to go with it. So I decided to go with these two. This one is Martha Stewart, again, a jumbo roll, and it's just red classic with little white Christmas trees on it. I thought that the red was complimenting of the other paper, but not too distracting because obviously this one is very busy. So I wanted to get two kind of more simple papers, but I didn't want them completely plain. So that's why I liked this one, simple, but not totally plain. And I think on all of my gifts, I'm just gonna do one big white ribbon. Um, I do have some ribbon left over from last year, so I'll use some of that on whatever I have left. But um, for whatever I do not have leftover ribbon for, I'm just going to do one big white ribbon. I think that'll look really classic and cute. And then the last paper that I got is this green polka dot one. And I am usually not a polka dot person at all. I don't really like polka dots actually but i thought these three together just look so cute i love creating like i don't want to say a colorway because it's more than colors like a little story with my <laughs> with my wrapping paper and ribbons i want all of my gifts to look uniform and nice together and i want it to be like an experience opening up a gift for me and what better way to do that than with like cute paper and the ribbons it just makes it that much more exciting to open a gift. So I really take pride in my gift wrapping. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with these three this year, big white bows. I'll use some of what I have last year and I'll definitely show how I do it. I cannot take credit for how I wrap gifts. My friend Blythe taught me her ways, um, but yeah, these three papers, I just think they look so adorable together. They bring out the red, the green. It's just, it's classic cozy Christmas vibes. Last thing that I got from Marshalls and Home Goods is this lumbar pillow. It says stay cozy on it. The pillow itself is just Sherpa and then the words are actually in like a sweater material, which I thought was really unique and kind of made it a little bit different. And then the back is just like a faux fur. So I thought if I get sick of the words, I can just do the faux fur and it still is like a great cozy little squishy lumbar pillow every time we go to Hayden's parents house they have these white Sherpa lumbar pillows and we all fight for like who gets to have them because they're so comfortable it's like the perfect headrest armrest backrest it's just like the perfect size pillow to snuggle up with and I had to have it once I once I touched it felt how soft and nice it was I had to bring it home with me so we'll either put this on the bed or the couch. I'm not sure yet. Um, so I think this was a very good find. My actual last stop was TJ Maxx. I'm kind of going out of order here, but I went in for one thing and one thing only because by this point I had done plenty of damage and I just wanted to see if they had any good Christmas mugs. I saw this one at TJ Maxx. It came in a little set, but the mug was so cute that I didn't care. I just bought the whole set. Um, it comes with this cute little spoon on the side and it's just this cute little snowman. I loved how it was like cream colored. I don't know why it makes it feel more like cozy than like a stark white. Um, and then it came with milk chocolate squares and um, some peppermint chocolate bark, I think. Oh no, hot cocoa. And then a peppermint stir, the whole nine yards. But I just bought it for the mug. I cannot wait to drink my caramel brulee latte out of this every single morning. I am so excited. Okay, finally the last store, which I actually went to first, but it was Michael's and I was actually looking for wrapping paper at Michael's and then I got basically everything except for wrapping paper. Um, I also wanted garland, so I did get garland from Michael's, but here is what I got. So like I said, I went to Michael's first. So I picked up this Santa jar before I saw this Santa jar. And then I was really conflicted. I was like, okay, I don't need two Santa jars. So I literally had him and the receipt in my hands and was at the doorway of Michael's. And then I didn't have the heart to return him. So I think he's meant to be in my life. I don't know why, 
but I saw it and was just like, I feel like you would see this at your grandma's house. And that's basically what I'm all about this year is like cozy Christmas, classic Christmas. Um, and I just feel like this is something that I would have for my whole entire life. Like I would never get rid of this. It's so cute. Um, so I don't know, again, what am I gonna put in here? I have no idea, but I do have a little like centerpiece on our island that I have this little Christmas tree in right now, but it kind of looks bare. So I think I might throw him in there just to make the centerpiece a little bit more Christmassy. These I completely did not need, I admit it. I got two Christmas plates. They had very cute Christmas dishware at Michael's, which I was not expecting. Um, and I literally walked by it and was like, don't need that, don't even look. And then I saw something out of the corner of my eye and I turned around and I got stuck there for, I'm not kidding, probably 20 minutes. I don't know if, I'm sure other people do that when they shop, like you just are so indecisive that you stand there for 20 minutes, you call people. I called two different people about these plates, actually three different people about these plates. Um, and then clearly I couldn't leave them, so I brought them home with me. But this one is this cute little Christmas tree shaped plate. And I loved that the outside was kind of like, it reminded me of a sweater pattern, but it's all made out of tiny, tiny, tiny hearts. This would be cute to like display something on, even put like a candle or something. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but when I host the white elephant here, I will definitely have these out. They're just so cute. Um, so I got one Christmas tree and then I got one of these and I think they look cute together. So it'll work and they kind of are part of a set because they both have the heart detail so this one is the same thing everything is made out of little hearts and i just think these are the most precious like oh my gosh they're so cute so i will be using these to put out something at my little christmas get together they're on the home stretch just a couple more things i got some garland this was like the number one thing on my list because i really want to put garland across our little i guess you'd call it a tv console but i don't know really what it's not like our TV sitting on it. It's just like a little decorative thing under our TV. So I really wanted to put garland across it. And I was going to get a frosted garland to match our tree, but everybody I was talking to was like, just get classic garland because then you won't get sick of it. It won't be like too much frosted. It'll just give it some dimension. So we'll see how this looks. I hope that it's gonna look good with the frosted tree. I really hope so. Um, I hope people do not lead me astray. But this is nine foot deluxe pre-lit garland and it was 50% off. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. This one, there was one unraveled and this one seemed like it was thicker. And I also like, it has a bunch of different like shades of green and a bunch of different types of little spikes. Plus it has a little bit of brown mixed in and it has the pine cones. So I felt like this looked decently realistic compared to what else was there plus it's pre-lit and i just feel like the lights make it so cozy so i got this i'll put it up and we'll see how it looks i have high hopes for it so i really hope it pulls this whole area together i got a nutcracker <laughs> and i never thought of myself as a nutcracker person but for some reason he was just different and unique i really liked the little sherpa details i loved his boots his little gold thing that he's carrying. He has a little gift. I thought this would be really cute at our doorway just to be like, welcome in with the nutcracker. <laughs> um, he was definitely the cutest nutcracker there. So I picked him up. He was only $8. I could not believe it. Originally 20 and it was like, what, 60% off? I think that is. Yeah, 60% off. Um, and for $8, I mean, this is like so cute. I liked how he was tall. It wasn't like a little dinky nutcracker so he will be in our doorway i'm so excited so that is everything that i got i had the best time shopping for this stuff it was like the stores were stocked to the max the workers were working so hard it was amazing christmas music was playing all these people were in there it was literally the best time and i could not have thought of a better way to spend my break than christmas shopping at these stores um like i said i did also do some online black friday shopping so i may or may not post what i got i'll probably post on tiktok for sure i'm not sure if i'll do like a full sit down on youtube for it because i have a feeling they're all gonna be coming in at different times and a sit down might just be difficult but I at least wanted to record this stuff because this got me so in the Christmas mood and I'm so excited to just put everything around the apartment and it's gonna be so cozy. 
I also got a wax melter on Amazon that I guess I could put like a picture in. Um, but I got that because we have one Christmas candle that we loved from Target. It's from Threshold and I loved the green like ribbed container, but it is almost out. It's like at the very, very bottom. Um, it's the holiday balsam scent from Threshold. I highly recommend it, but I thought I'll just reuse the container. Um, but we still wanted our place to smell like Christmas once that's done. So we just got a wax melter because I feel bad continuing to buy all of these candle containers. And of course, like I reuse the ones that I get, but eventually it's like, okay, how many more <laughs> of that size containers can I really use around my apartment without it being excessive? So I decided that we'll just do a wax melter for the rest of the holiday season at least, and then probably just continue it um, so that we don't have to keep buying the candle containers. So that is also coming, but that is everything that I got. I'll definitely record me putting all this stuff up as well, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're having a great holiday season, whatever holidays you celebrate. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.